Hi viewers, and this is to help people out with Python. I've had a few questions about the Python language and actually how to do certain things with FreeCAD in Python and at a basic level like movement, rotation, etc. And what I want to do is just share with you um, the way I found out these things. I've, I normally do a lot of reading, but also I use the Python console quite a lot and see what's going on behind the scenes in Harris Move and there's a few tips around using that Python console that I just want to show you that make your life a lot easier. One of the questions lately, well around about five minutes ago actually, is regarding movement and how we move objects and the commands behind that. And I'm gonna go into the park and make a simple cube in there. Now when we move an object we use a transform or we can actually move the x y and z of the position or the placement so here's a placement and here's the position now it's not obvious in python the actual command that you use to run these but you can find it out by using the python console there's a few tips around here i want to show you with the python console so you go to view and go to the panels python console we can get the python console up and here you can go and find the commands to use. But there's a few problems around here when you're trying to use something called code completion. Now, ooh, there you go, there's, there's already completed that. I don't know what happened there. Um, when you do the code completion, what you're talking about is when you type in app and then hit the dot, we get this come up. Now you need a nice big Python window for this. Um, it's no good having a small window that's down here somewhere because when it does the code completion you get a small code completion that you can't really see what's going on and behind here is everything to do with when you actually start typing you get some hints of what's actually there for that command now a little tip around here is I want the command to move this object. So I'm going to do a transform on this object and I probably won't get any commands for the transform. So I'm just going to move that and see what's going on down here. So nothing's coming up. If I hit OK, we've got no commands there. So the best idea is to go into your placement for this object. So hit cube and we're looking at our placement which is here so this will be collapsed so we just open that span that out and we're looking for position now grab the command from the position so if we go into the position and you can see it's y so if i increase y you can see i've got this command down here but it's a huge command but this gives you an idea of whereabouts that is so we've got a placement and we can equals that placement to at dot placement dot theta. But this is too long. This is way too long. So if we come in here, let me give you a bit of a tip. If I try to do this, so freecad dot get document unnamed dot get object box, then dot the placement and the axis and the rotation will be on there, but if I copy that, so I hit Control C and just paste that in. If I hit dot, I don't get anything come up at all. And this is a bit of a pain because I want to know all the properties of this. The way around this is to assign this to a variable as you do in your code. So if I did say, let's call it my box, do this in Python console equals and then that so if we get get document unnamed get object but we just copy for there hit enter now if i use my box again and hit dot i now get code completion so you can actually go in here and find what you want so you got your height your full name um your length and also if i start typing so placement so pl there we go placement so we can actually go in here, list of all the property names, we can see the pop-up. 
in the case of the object is being removed and the placement is not going to show on oh, yeah, list of all the property names just because I had a list of all the property so hit enter the placement hit dot again and you can see you've got base now if we look at this we haven't actually got placement dot base on here but if I did dot base and it says factor to the base position so if I do dot and then x and I go uh, plus equal one then that will move by one so you can see that moving there and same for y we've also got my box dot placement dot move placement dot and then we've got move and that takes a vector so we open so we have a look at that dot move move placement along the vector and in there we've got to specify a vector now it's don't believe it's this see that will cause a problem and that actually takes a vector so if we do app dot and then vector and in brackets you specify the x y z coordinates so if i wanted to move it along the x by one i would do zero comma one for the x comma zero and i forgot to end my bracket let's put a bracket in there so there you go so you get the double dot that means it's asking for something else put a bracket on there let's move it in that way if i want to move it in the reverse direction minus one there we go. Now move it by minus one. And if we want to move it in two or even three directions, we can use the. I shouldn't pick the Z because that's the. Can't really see what it's doing there. There we go. We can specify what we want there. That's one there. There we go. So that's moving along two different axes there. So we've got all sorts in here but once you've aliased up your variable uh, sorry aliased up your object then you can start playing about and investigating what you got on in here so if I type in height hit enter you can see it's come up 10 millimeters there and we can go height equals 20 there we go so we've changed the height so we can really play about in here and get an idea of how the Python language actually affects um, the items in FreeCAD. Ooh, ID. I never don't know how useful that is. Uh, dot internal name. We've got internal name in there. No. Nope. Dot label, wasn't it? Dot label. There we go. Dot label. Cube. So there you go. So that's a quick video of dealing with the Python language in the console and using an alias a, uh, as a my new cube and then whatever this is and remember we can actually get to what that is by just changing something along our axis or property of it so 13 three there we go that's the one i want dot box so get object box and we can assign that to what we want my new cube equals that and then my new cube and now we've got some nice code completion to figure out what we want to do with it another little tip you're probably wondering how quickly I'm actually getting to these commands as you can see they're just flying onto the screen if you use the up and down arrow keys in Python console you can recall previous and post commands that you've actually placed in there so I've gone there's the previous commands and post to that are these commands so let's press up and down arrow keys in there and we can cycle through those so if I wanted to move that if I go back to map move hit enter up enter up enter up enter so that's how I'm getting to those previous commands and there's another thing if you used to the terminal 
in Linux or the um, client window in Windows, whatever OS you're used to. You're probably used to this and probably figured this one out already. Uh, you may not have made, or if you just accidentally tried to go on up to get to previous commands in here, you'll notice these, these are coming up. So that's another little tip for you. Another one is you can do loops in here as well. So for instance, if we do a for loop for i in range, whoops, range 10, we use a colon, hit enter. You see these, we've got the three dots here. Now, it's the same as normal language, Python language, you need to indent. So either you use your tab to indent or your space, whatever your, whatever your preferred way of doing this is. And I'm just gonna put print i in here. Hit enter, get the double dots again. If I'm finished, hit enter again. And you can see that we've got our loop that's just run through. So that's how to do a loop in the Python console as well. So there's a little tip for you. If you're doing some Python and you really want to explore the language and get used to it in FreeCAD, this is how I learnt and this is how I'm still learning. And that will help any beginners or advanced people who don't know about the language or getting into the language and really want to experiment with it. Don't worry about making mistakes humans evolve by making mistakes and that's it for me so i hope that's helped i hope that's helped the viewer that's uh, asked me about movement and the commands to move an object in there and yep subscribe to the channel hit me up whenever you want and see you soon so this sunday there'll still be stuff coming out this sunday this is just an extra video of move to how to use the Python console and getting used to Python. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.